Hi. Okay. So, um, I usually don't talk about this, so I thought I would. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of, like, ancient Egypt documentaries, and I suddenly noticed that there's one thing that they don't talk about. I'm trying to figure out why. See, when I was in middle school, um, <laughs> I had eyewitness books. <laughs> and in the pyramid book, these two were in there. And it's one statue. And I uh, know it's two. I'm looking at it right there. I thought it was one connected. And it's Prince Rahotep and his wife, Nofret. And they're in the medium pyramid. Um, little thing here is the eyes are real glass. The statues are so realistic that when the workmen saw them for the first time, they dropped their tools and fled. And, I mean, they're really pretty. And for as old as they are, they're in pretty darn good condition. They're in the Cairo Museum right now. And, um, you know, I've been watching these things while I work, you know, stitching and everything. And I was trying to figure out why these particular pieces aren't shown. I mean, we see, you know, they show the mummies and, and they show some of the other pieces, especially with King Tut, now that we know that he wasn't murdered. And so I decided to look up, because this is, these, these two were something that I always went back to because I absolutely loved the piece. Now, this book was released in 1994. Before I did this, I looked it up, and uh, so, <laughs> yeah, a little outdated, but, you know, I'm a sucker for outdated books, because <laughs> it makes, you know, you go back and you realize what we knew at the time and what, how much we've progressed since then in our information and our studies. So I looked him up. And and if you ever get a chance, actually look up these statues. They are very realistic. They were, I mean, she is really pretty. And he's a very striking young man. Um, there's a little bit of a glitch here. Okay, I'm not, I know that there's a lot of... <laughs> Um, a lot of people don't like Zahi Hawass. I'm not making this video so that you can bash Zahi Hawass. Um, if you're going to make nasty statements about him, it's just going to be deleted. Because, here's the thing. It's Prince Rahotep. And in here, it just, it says that he is a prince, uh, you know, a son of Snefru. In the fourth dynasty, well, here it says he was probably a son of Pharaoh Sneferu, and his first and his first wife. But Zahi Hawass suggests that his father was Huni. And when I read that, I was like, "Oh, geez, okay." So when I looked up Huni, and a king. And the last pharaoh of the third dynasty, a reign of 24 years, ending in 2600 BC. Now, before I get into that, so yeah, Zahi Hawass made a suggestion about Rahotep's family line. Because this just flat out said, his dad is Snefru. Um, 
And again, if you start bashing Zahi Hawass, I'm just deleting the comments. Yeah, I know about the whole thing with Zahi Hawass. I'm, I'm just not going to get into it. That's not, I don't need it on my um, account. But anyway, so when you read more into his biography, um, Apparently he was a high priest of Ra, and it says he had he has a title given to a high nobility to high nobility the son of the king, begotten of his body. Rahotep's older brother was Nefermat the first. When you look up Nefermat, there were. Um, paintings at the tomb of Nefermat and he was also you know a prince and a king's nephew the vizier possessing the title of the king's eldest son so he was the older brother i don't know if i said that and um his name means mat is beautiful or with perfect justice Nefer one of Nefermat's sisters had a son also called Nefermat. So that's probably why he was Nefermat the first. <laughs> so there was Nefermat, and then there was um, <laughs> Rahotep, and now there's Renifer, which is the younger brother. Renifer means Ra is beautiful and had the title King's Son. Um, Renifer was Snefer, uh, Renifer's mother was Snefer's wife or concubine. Her name is unknown. Okay, it's weird that they say more about in Ranifers than they do in there, so. <sighs> Interesting. And there's nothing, you know, there aren't any depictions of Ranifer. And I hope I'm saying his name right. He worked as an overseer for his father. And the tomb were found remains wrapped in linen. Rafer's body is the best representation of what mummification techniques entailed during the Old Kingdom. Okay. Uh, the eyebrows and eyes were painted green while the mouth was painted red. Huh, interesting. Yeah, because Rahotep, what does it say? It says his first wife, uh, he's the son of Pharaoh Snefru and his first wife. And then in Nefermat, it just says the son of King Snefru and his first wife. Um, then it talks about Khufu, which we know Khufu. And he was, so Rahotep died when he was very young. 
And his half-brother Khufu became pharaoh. And his wife was no fret, but they don't really know much about her. Her name means beautiful. Parents are not known. She had three daughters and three sons. Um, as for the... <laughs> can't believe I'm blinking. The statues. Um, the titles are in hieroglyphs on the back of the chair. Her say, King's Acquaintance. Um, there are six columns of text for him, naming his titles and duties with columns three and six, each ending with his name, Rahotep. She has identical text, one column both right and left, and they basically say what her name means, a beautiful woman, and feminine, and then King's Acquaintance. Um, now when you look at, because Rahotep means Ra is satisfied. I used to know some of this stuff, because I did study um, hieroglyphs a little bit. I just, <laughs> it's one of those weird things that I decided to do. And, because um, I wanted to know what those... <laughs> what those meant. I have a lot of mythology books and I was like, you know what, I want to sit down and I want to actually learn. It's kind of like Elvish. Everyone else was learning Klingon. I was like, no, I want to learn Elvish. <laughs> One more page in the Bunhead life. <laughs> Bunhead's book of life. Anyway, so, here's the thing. This is one of those times when Zahi Hawass may not be so crazy. Because when you look in the family thing, it says, Until today, no child or other relative of Huni can be identified and connected with him with certainty. There are two other people that made this theory um, to identify Hetaferis who was a concubine of Snefru, and the mother of King Khufu, tried to say that she was the daughter of King Huni. She had the female title Satneji, not Satneji, <laughs> sorry, which means daughter of a god, which led these two to the conclusion that this could be a hint of her family position as the daughter of Huni, which I don't really understand where they're going with this because <laughs> there were tons of... But I guess because of the time period, I guess it would work. But anyway, um... <laughs> I, I don't know. Hedda Ferris would have been an heir princess, and by marrying Snefru, she secured the bloodline of the royal dynasty. Okay. But if she was a concubine... Well, because he had one wife... Because it did say he had one wife, and then because Snefru, I mean, uh, Khufu is a half brother to um, Rahotep and his brothers. So, um, so in this case, I guess it's not crazy, but at the same time, I. I don't know how it would be, I don't know how it would be Huni, because, 
Because if the brothers are... I think he's just getting his signals crossed. I think Zahi Hawass is just getting his signals crossed a little bit. And, um... Because, uh... Because of what they're saying. And, uh... Because it, it is just a theory, what they're saying. And, um, but, I, you know, I don't... Because there's more... There's also, um, like, a, a Stella depicting uh, Rahotep eating. And... Unless you actually... end up becoming, I don't know, that's a tough one. I'm, tr I'm trying to remember all of the, all my history for ancient Egypt. I mean, I've been studying this stuff since I was like 12, <laughs> but I've been, college, man, adulting, what is this? <laughs> so it's a little fuzzy in there because, you know, running a business and everything. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, because this is just a theory, what they're saying about uh, Hedda Ferris being the daughter of Queen Huni, because no child or other relative can positively be identified, according to what I'm reading. If I'm wrong, you have, <laughs> you can let me know. <laughs> Again, I leave that open, but, you know, no Hawass bashing. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, um, so, anyway, yeah, I just think it, it just kind of got a little crossed, because this is, again, a theory, and um, with Snefru, He's the fourth dynasty, and Huni is the third dynasty. So if that were to work, Hedeferis and Rahotep would be brother and sister, wouldn't they? I, yeah, I, I don't... And and he is definitely I mean from here and and everywhere else, he's fourth dynasty. And he's obviously a half brother to Khufu. I mean he, he just so So I just think it was just a, a kind of a a bad connection kind of a deal. <laughs> I mean, it. I see where these two are going because you know, Pharaoh had his concubines. I mean, and it's not the first culture to have in ancient times have a bunch of concubines. It it was a thing that happened back then. Um, and um, but so. I can see where they're going with it, and um, but I I don't think that I really don't think that Rahotep is the son of Huni. I hope I'm saying his name right because it's H U N I. So anyway, I mainly was doing this video because of um, you know. I've been watching a lot of these, listening to a lot of these uh, video, you know, the documentaries, and they never show Rahotep and his wife Nofra, and, and she's, uh, they're beautiful. They're, if, please, go look up the, the statues. They're very, and um, yeah, he was a nice looking young man, and it doesn't say what happened to him. 
But he was a high priest of Ra. Um, his older brother, Nefermat, was a vizier. He was uh, possessing the titles of the king's eldest son, a royal seal bearer, and prophet of Bastet. I hope I'm saying that right. And then, um, right up further, there's not, there's just not any, like, murals or anything for, for him, but what's interesting is for him, it says, Ranifer's mother was Snefer's wife or concubine. Her name is unknown, but they don't say that for the other two. <laughs> Elder brothers were Nefermat the first and Rahotep. They all died before Sneferu, and their younger half brother Khufu became king after Sneferu. And he was an overseer for his father. And he was the one that has the best mummification techniques. The eyebrows and eyes were painted green, and the mouth was painted red. Which is very interesting because we always think of it as. Black. <laughs> what else does it say? Body was facing east, was molded as well as painted. Mummy's hair was painted black. Uh, so anyway, um... Oh, and just a quick little thing. Yeah, it has no fret which means beautiful. And it's actually nephret, but um, it says no fret, but it's nephret. It means beautiful. Now I want to go back and start learning hieroglyphs again. Oh, because I wanted to learn all the, all that. And I, I used to write some of them too. I learned how to write my cart my name in a cartouche all by myself. So anyway, it's actually a lot of fun once you get to learn it. <laughs> um, anyway, so if you ever get a chance, look up Rahotep. I will put his name. I will put his uh, brother's names. These are the half-brothers of uh, Khufu. And I'm pretty sure that they are, you know, I think it was just one of those things where that theory just got away with them. And that's what happened with Zahi Hawass. Um, it happens to everybody. So, again, no bashing. Because <laughs> that's happened to me before. <laughs> you hear a theory and then you kind of get trapped in it. So it happens to everybody. It really does. So, um, anyway, yeah, I don't think that his dad is Huni, but if you have any kind of, because, you know, I'm rusty on my ancient Egypt knowledge, so if you have any, um, any information, <laughs> that'd be great, I would love to know. But, um, yeah, I, if you have never seen these statues, please look them up because they are beautiful. They are so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, uh, Prince Rahotep and his wife, Nofret. Um, I, I'm just mystified why they don't talk about them in these documentaries. I wish they would. 